What's good, what's good, what is good, my sizers? We're back again with another video, and today we are at an all you can eat sushi, seafood, and Asian fusion restaurant! <laughs> wow, talk about a mouthful. Alright, so this restaurant is located 4.4 miles off the strip off of the Flamingo Road. They are open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. For those of you who are not a fan of sushi, they have a plethora of cooked options as well, such as tempuras, teriyaki, pad thais, lo mein, soups, curries, and chef specials. Now for my sushi lovers, you're given an all-you-can-eat menu for you to fill out, and then it's given back to you so you can order more, and it should look something like this. Now let's get into the real nitty-gritty. How does one make such a sushi thing? So this is his setup. He had the rice cooker on his left and a menu on his right so they don't forget how to make these. And then this restaurant was kind enough to let me film some behind the scenes of how they make it. And this was their bestest top skilled chef there. As you can see, his station is very clean, fresh, and organized. And then he just kind of starts. Now if you're anything like me, then you're very picky about your fish to rice ratio. Well, let me tell you. This place has a phenomenal fish to rice ratio. When they allowed me to come back behind the scenes and film how the food is made, I was super excited because sushi is one of my favorite types of food ever. And to just be able to film this was a really just awesome experience. I was like so ecstatic. And to be able to share it with you guys was just a bonus on top of all that. Also, they do have a lunch and dinner menu. You can order the dinner menu while it's lunchtime, but it will be for the dinner prices. All of that information can be found in the description below. Not only does this food look good, but it smells absolutely amazing. I was just really excited for the people who were going to get this food because watching the process made it a thousand times better. And watching it now while I'm talking to you guys makes me hungry all over again. I mean, just look at the beautiful display and the time that they put into this stuff. Like, you guys can tell that, like, the chefs really do care about how their food looks and the thought process that goes behind it. Little did I know he was making our food. So I was a thousand times percent pumped up because I was just so excited to think that this delicious food was going to our table. I was so excited. Okay, to start us out, we have eel and Cajun albacore. And I always get shrimp tempura, and then this is steak and shrimp skewers. And then we got a couple of rolls, so starting us off, we got the rainbow roll, and I was really excited, especially since it was topped with avocado instead of stuffed with avocado. This is their lobster roll, which was really pretty, smelled amazing. And we got salmon skewers, and then we got some salmon, salmon lemon, and some more eel. Alright, now it was just time to taste test it, and don't mind my chopstick skills. I may be Asian, but I don't know how to use these to save my life. I'll be honest with y'all, it wasn't a pretty journey, but we get there. Eventually, I get there. I have consulted my mother for some help, and she's trying to teach me how to move just the top stick instead of the bottom one. And then she said my hands were a little too low, and honestly, it just gave me PTSD from when I tried to write with a pencil when I was like five. You can definitely see the concentration in my face and the regret you saw that earlier of, well, I'm filming this and it's not going to be pretty. But you know what? I got there, I'm confident, and now we go for it. So to start, I wanted to try the tuna because it is my go-to for most of it. I usually get the tuna and my mom likes to get the salmon. And let me just say, I was very impressed with the fish to rice ratio. I was so impressed. I even did a little happy dance, but then I wanted to try the rainbow roll. But of course, I wanted to give you guys all the angles of what goes into this rainbow roll. So I was trying to give you like the surface area of it. But then I was like, you know what? Let's give you guys a top view as well. And then they started playing some really good music. So I was vibing to that too. Good music, good food, happy dance all the way. 
Uh, I did not succeed with the top view so much, and then I tried to recover, and it did not end well. I don't know what's going on here, but someone please teach me how to use chopsticks. It's disastrous. Look, I knew going into this that I was bad with chopsticks and I really wanted to impress y'all, but after that, I just resorted back to my fingers because it's just me eating this and my family won't judge me. So after that, we got some dessert. So we ordered the fried banana and then I ordered strawberry ice cream because I'm very plain Jane, but I wanted to try the fried banana for you guys. And let's just say I was not expecting it to be as hot as it was. It's kind of like when you put hot food in your mouth and you just go because it's too hot, but you it's too late to return. You can't, you just have to deal with it. But it was really good. And then of course, trying out the strawberry ice cream. That was a banger as well. But that's all I have for you guys today. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have been here or if you tried to come here. And be sure to smash that subscribe button down there while you add it. Toodles!